Now, he is the man of the moment. All eyes are on him. He has captured the imagination of the nation uh, by the huge task of ushering a new currency and making sure that it brings relief to the millions of Zimbabweans who have had to bear the scars from years of a bruised ego having to endure lives revolving around other nations' currencies. Now, one must admit that his task is not easy because he has to inspire confidence in the currency on the backdrop of a nation which is often divided along fractured political lines. Those who wish him and the currency well are rooting for him, while some, bruised by political defeat in the last plebiscite, want him to utterly fail. This is playing out on social media where every move and word he utters is scrutinized. All eyes are on him. His structured currency and the World Bank consultancy utterances took center stage at some point, and now his return to his clansmen in Gutu to ask for their blessings in his new role and dancing with them joyously has sparked debate, some saying, is he now a tribal appointee and are disrespecting previous governors of the Apex Bank? When he says, not under my watch, is he saying that there were mistakes in the past which saw the local currency losing value? Is he going to have the leeway and support of the fiscal authorities to ensure that the new currency is protected? Or will he buckle under the pressure of the huge task and give joy to the naysayers who want the currency to be buried under a heap of failure? Some say he should not be heard so much, but just emerge down the apex mountain with the prescriptive monetary tablets at the prescribed times, whilst some are saying his constant touch with the grassroots gives him first-hand knowledge on the huge and important task at hand. With a government expected to import grain owing to drought, will that not trigger inflation, um, Governor Mshayavan, uh, particularly food inflation and ultimately surge in exchange rate as the government uh, uh, seeks for the U.S. dollar to import food? We are currently under an El Nino-induced drought, which was uh, uh, last month declared a state of disaster by the president. No, not at all. The First of all, you have to remember that we are in a multi-currency environment. So for you and me in the cities, the millers can use the money that is in their FCA account to import grain and they can still sell it to us uh, in US dollars or in ZIG. Government only needs to worry about the vulnerable people, those people in the rural areas. And I'm informed by Treasury that Arrangements to that effect have already been made. Payment for that grain has already been made. So there is not going to be any inflationary impact arising from the financing of uh, importation of uh, grain due to the El Nino induced drought. And uh, other concerns have been raised around um, government's uh, uh, payment models as far as uh, um, the development projects that government is pushing. is currently uh, undertaking massive um, infrastructural projects where some have said as the contractors and uh, other players who are part of this drive are getting paid. We then see the rates going up. What is your comment to that? My comment is that... Uh it is not true that there is any printing of money when the contractors are paid. These contractors are paid predominantly in U.S. dollars by the government, by Treasury, and also where they may be paid in ZIG, this will be from ZIG that government already has in its account at the central bank. So there is no new money creation arising out of payment to contractors at all. And, and beyond you giving those assurances which you have uh, from the onset saying that uh, uh, excessive printing of money will not happen under your watch, are there any measures that have been put in place to ensure that indeed the central bank does not print a more zig beyond the gold reserves uh, backing the currency like introducing a currency board, uh, for instance, constituted by all stakeholders and a people of unquestionable integrity? Yeah, well, are you implying that uh, the people at the central bank are of questionable integrity? I don't think so. But 
Anyway, the statutory instrument that introduced ZIG was very clear as to the audit process that takes place every year. We are going to subject the reserves that we are holding in support of ZIG to audit, and the results of that audit will be made public. So we already have checks and balances to ensure that whatever ZIG is in circulation will at all times be begged by reserves in the form of gold, in the form of other precious metals, and in the form of uh, U.S. dollar balances. So there are checks and balances in place. Um, just a quick one for the gardener. I went to tell one to buy uh, data bundles. So for 30 U.S. dollars, you can get 165 gig of uh, data. But for 602 zig, which is uh, around 41 dollars, compared to the rate, to the current rate, you can get about 100 gig. And they, they are saying for the 30 dollars, uh, you can pay the zig equivalent. Then this is tier one for that matter. So if tier one, which is a balance that does not have confidence in the zig. I would get the rest of business to react. Because I went there, I asked them, can I pay this, uh, say, the one for $30, but pay the big equivalent? And they refused. I went to the tail one, which is uh, opposite the Monomchapa office for the president. And that's my contribution, and I would like to the governor to clarify on that. Okay, if this is already... Uh, like uh, tier one is not accepting all they are using parallel market rate. Right? And what you are saying about um, uh, they went into the market and uh, checked uh, the, 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 the shop they have already adopted to the big. But what they have simply done is something that is ten dollars becomes fifteen dollars, and then you pay the big equivalent. Or, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, and I will ask our callers to be precise and straight to the point as we have so many other people who are trying to uh, to get through. So I will take uh, about two or three questions as the governor takes note and then allow him to respond. Star FM, good morning. Good, thank you. You're through to Star FM. Go ahead with your contribution. All right, uh, thank you very much uh, for that contribution. I will take the third caller before I go back to Governor Mushayevanu Starfam. Good morning. Good, thank you. You're through to Star FM. Go ahead with your contribution. All right, so so we we are we've got a poor connection there, and we are struggling to hear you. I'm going to drop the line, and uh, please do try again. Star FM, good morning. Star FM, good morning. Good, thank you. You are through uh, to Star FM. You can talk uh, to the RBZ governor. All right, thank you very much. So, Governor, you've heard the questions that have come through, and they are mostly around uh, the issue of the rate that is being used with the first caller making reference to the rate that is being used by a parastatal and um, others asking. You've said that the bond notes uh, continue uh, to function alongside the ZIG until a certain period. What is the rate? That was the question from the second uh, caller. And the third caller asking around uh, the issue of uh, institutions of learning. Um, we've also then seen them uh, using exorbitant rates. Uh, your comment to these uh, questions, uh, Governor Mshelan? Yeah, to thank you for bringing all those uh, issues to our attention. Uh, 
if you go to a service provider and they use an exchange rate which is not the interbank rate please report to us immediately and we will get our financial intelligence unit to deal with the issue that applies to tier one that you mentioned we are going to uh, approach tier one as soon as we leave the studio so that they tow the line and also that applies to the private schools that you mentioned if you can just let us know we will be able to deal with the culprits there has been adequate education to the public and also to the shop owners retailers schools that the rate that applies is the interbank exchange rate and no other rate should apply um, as regards the bond notes continuing to be legal tender and what is the rate when we introduced uh, zig on the 5th of april we came up with a conversion factor of about 2500 uh, rounded up so what it means is that you divide the bond notes that you have by 2500 to convert to zig and then you buy <laughs> so if you get quoted a price in in, in zig you multiply that price by 2500 and you pay in bond notes all right, and uh, you've mentioned that uh, uh, members of the public, consumers can report uh, to the to the RBZ. Uh, what measures exactly will be taken against those who are flouting or going against the official rate uh, that you, uh, should be um, the status quo? What measures in particular will be taken? Because we've seen this time and time again, where schools, especially schools open next week and the rates are high. What exactly will be done? What, what are the measures in place? There are various measures that uh, will be taken by FIU, one of which will be to freeze the bank accounts of those uh, uh, offending institutions. Uh, they will not be able to transact. And also, they will be penalized, heavily penalized in the form of funds. All right, and uh, let's take some more calls. Starfem, good morning. Hello, yes, you threw to Star FM. Go ahead with your contribution. Uh, I just wanted to pose a question to the governor, uh, Mr. John II, uh, about their policy uh, on money changes. If they catch the guy on the road, we definitely know that he is not the problem causer. The problem causer is where the money is coming from. There are big offloaders that are behind those guys. What measures are taken to place to curb that situation? Thank you. All right, thank you very much for that contribution. I'll take another call. Star from good morning. Hello, Linda. Yes, are you through to the program? Go ahead. Linda, I hope you doesn't. Right, uh, my apologies for that. We have a poor connection. I'm going to drop the line. Star from good morning. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. You're through to the program. Go ahead. Yes, is that Star FM? Yes, it is Star FM. Yeah, do not go for the Kuna Gavi Naga. What exchange rate should be done? It is a But we have put it in the one. And a data that is in the dollars. And Taganda is no better than anything, but that is about two million something. Then we asked them, what rate are you using? They said to us, we are not using any rate. Those in Goripo. So we feel with Papa when we did the calculation, two thousand something divided by sixty dollars, it gave us uh, about one one hundred and fifty eight exchange rate. Which I feel even today which we have been robbed today, we have to make one. All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh one as it shows of a kumbi or two roads and funga pamam sat my bata chirungwa a tichava pamkan octiva pinduras no mum terror to novim bam sitting mim terror and bofona as it's not in the chaiso a ne contribution you are we are zero seven seven two one six two six five one star from good morning. Hello. Hello, yes, you threw to the program. Go ahead with your contribution. Hello? 
eh, as you go on, there's a lot of people who are not from 20 to 21, I don't know, 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 I don't All right, tinote anda chaizo. Again, tuto rongo mtere rit sata pa governor mkana we kutiba pinduri. Uh, Star FM, good morning. Linda, thank you for taking my call. All right, you can go ahead. I wanted to ask the, the, the governor. Patilu kupira ma makonza. Tilu kuenda kutibani ine. Narino shandi square tino chachwa. Ma US dollars. Kana tili kuchaka ma US dollars. You will not get that from them. Tisu tuku sonoro wa mare, kia ya wari kutawara ima tuwendi kuti tirukua approach ala miti tipe ya hundred thousand ni they cannot provide but muna rukuwa wa resi ya hati muna rukuwa ka hundred thousand muna rukuwa ka doora kutatu kebu kumba kata isu chinuba tirika na pay thank you very much Aiwa tinote nda mchaizo ya mvunzo wenyu reka itipe gavena mkano kutiva pinduri e, Nyairi kura mba ichi zoka gavena mshayavano inyaye marits uh, Marits arkushandi iswa e, by big retail outlets ni which has been mentioned nekuta anzi marizo zizi e, varugu zoro wa reti pa, pa, pa msika mtema yevanu varugu chaga marizo zizi kutenga fuel zi kubadara marent nekuta say uh, I'll, I'll give you an opportunity now to respond uh, to the concerns that have come through Yeah, th th thank you very much. The first question was on the money changers. And uh, the caller is saying that uh, these money changers are not the real culprits. Well, as far as we are concerned, the person we catch doing the parallel market trade is the culprit. And if they have got anyone behind them, they should let us know so that we go for that person and arrest that person so at the end of the day we want to nip this problem of parallel market trading in the bud and this is why the police are doing what they are doing if there is any other culprit other than the culprit they catch it is up to that culprit to, to say who their boss is And uh, maybe before you go on to the next uh, uh, question, uh, uh, Dr. Mshayavanu, how extensive are investigations in then uh, leading authorities to the real culprits, as the uh, listeners, the caller said? Because I think the concern around uh, the float or the amount of money that the money changers have, an ordinary person cannot access or, you know, the, such kind amounts of money given the bank limits and what have you. As it no kungwanikwa nemunhu nje eh makamirira kuti vavange vachimhangara eh hongororo dzenyu dzakasimba zvakaita sei kuti makaupritsa yanga achibatwa vasakoze nyonga nyonga inenge ichikozeka ne musika mutema iyo zvatinoita ndi zvekuti mabank ane surveillance system yokuona kuti ndiyana atora mari atora mari vani vava vanoita musika mutema Vano shandisa ma bank accounts. Ma bank accounts iwa watu no afriza. Saka murizuwe account iti shamba atacheti. Aninga ani account iwe iri kushandisa kuita iso zizi. Saka shese shaka tunokwanza kwa bata. Asi shuninge shaka naka kuti iwe watu wanenge watu mwane munu kutinditele shakati. Gawa uze mapurisa kuti andisi ini munu chae chae hari kutinditele iso zizi uyu. Mapurisa wabata munu wache. Yes, the issue of uh, Terror One, uh, which I answered earlier on, I said thank you for bringing it to attention. We are going to ask FIU to go to Terror One and investigate. And if it is true, they will be penalized just like everyone else who is flouting the exchange rate. There is no way anyone can say those are really, there is no implied rate. There is an implied rate. If you ask for a price in US dollars and you get it, and you ask for a price in Zig and you get it, the different that you divide one by the other, it should give you an implied exchange rate. So they can't hide behind the finger and just say, those are zero. So we are going to investigate that and we'll deal with it. Uh, the next one was that uh, we introduced 10 Zig and coins, and the bigger nodes were not introduced. When they are introduced, Would that not lead to the smaller nodes and coins being rejected? Well, that will not happen because ZIG, as I said earlier on, is a very stable currency. 
notes, smaller notes tend to be rejected when there is high inflation. In the monetary policy statement, we did say the projected inflation after we introduced ZIG was going to be anything between. That is not enough to make small notes and coins redundant. And we are confident that the, 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 there will be no need for people to reject the smaller notes because price will remain more or less constant. Why did we introduce the smaller notes first? We are drip feeding the market so that we study the way the, the currency is being received and also uh, allowing the education process that we are embarking on to, to, to continue. So the bigger notes are going to be introduced in the next week. You are going to see 26 notes in the market and so on until we get to the largest denomination, which is 200 SIG. All right, thank you very much. If you've just joined us, you are tuned to Star FM, sounding good all the time. Thank you very much for making us your number one. And we're joined in studio by Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, Governor Dr. John Mushayamanu, who has said he would like to respond to the everyday questions that the everyday uh, man and woman has. Please do come through on 0772162651. You can also send your messages, your questions, or any contributions, comments that you have on our FB platform. And I will be reading some of those messages as they come through. So do uh, continue to come through. And uh, uh, Governor, a question that is coming is for you to clarify when exactly uh, the bond notes uh, will be used for, um, will be used up until so that uh, there is no confusion on, 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 on the market. Uh, when will the bond notes expire maybe you could re repeat that we we are currently allowing them to co circulate mm -hmm. and we will let the market know when the volumes of bond notes coming through have thinned out we will then advise a debt to say after such and such a debt we will not receive any more bond notes but for now let them come through we, we don't want a situation where Someone is sitting on bond notes and they are deep out there in the raw areas. And then we say on such and such a date, they won't be a value. We want to make sure that at the time we then announce, we'll have collected as much as we can and then we give a final deadline. All right, uh, and you've heard it from the governor. The bond notes are still a uh, legal tender, and uh, the central bank will advise um, as soon as their usage comes to an end. And uh, Register Kaidza is coming through on our Facebook uh, platform, uh, Governor, asking how will you deal or control money changes across the borders? How are you dealing with those? Obviously, it's going to be difficult to deal with someone who is operating from a jurisdiction which is outside Zimbabwe. But the message I want to give to anyone who is going to be wanting to change their ZIG note for any other currency is that don't accept a rate other than the interbank rate because ZIG is a stable currency. ZIG is going to continue strengthening. It has been strengthening since the 5th of April. So anyone who is giving you a rate, which is not the interbank rate, is shortchanging you. And you should not accept that. All right. And uh, Governor, the RBZ has removed uh, the foreign currency auction system at a time when it's uh, settled uh, with outstanding disbursements, disbursements of allotments. How will it balance uh, the desire to control money supply uh, growth and print more money than stored gold reserves with a desire to fulfill obligations uh, to disperse the foreign currency allotments owed um, whose local unit would have already been debited together uh, with attendant uh, charges? Yeah, let me clarify that point. The outstanding auction allotments were converted to a two-year instrument in ZIG at an interest rate of 7.5% per annum. So there has not been any loss of value to the people who were owed money under the auction. We had to take that move because we want to limit the amount of ZIG in circulation. If we had released those uh, auction allotments, they would have immediately found their way onto the market looking for US dollars. And that would have put a lot of pressure on the ZIG exchange rate. So we did make a commitment in the monetary policy statement 
that any zig that we are allowed to be in circulation has to be fully backed by reserves that we are holding. And not only that, if we put in more zig in the market, it will result in the exchange rate depreciating. So we had to take that measure. But I must emphasize that the people affected have not lost anything. In fact, they are earning 7.5% interest on their money. All right, I'll take some more calls. As the governor has said, he would like to interact with the, uh, our listeners to hear what concerns or any contributions are. Star FM, good morning. Hello? Hello, yes, you're through to Star FM. Go ahead. Yes, and that will be the governor. I know the few of our challenges from the because the two coins are the judge people are going to go USB instead of Mazik. Right. Okay. To not to not to not to change issue. Eh, manzo amfunzo de gaitim potora wa mwa tere wa viri shikari sata zukira kuna governor zero seven seven two one six two six five one star FM. Good morning. Morning, Linda. How are you? Good. Thank you. Okay. Then I come funda. You know I'm a civil servant. No time to speak. And I've got other bills. No dama US dollars. Then I come funda to my US dollars. It's no our national. Inga uma wa na my US dollars account. My money changer has been come to US Raj Kana for the people saving. Say, I'm going to my money. Thank you. Uh, I think this is a question. You can buy Chiwia Governor, you could tell Roni, a Varuda, my US dollar, Vasilima, my busy Musi, Munoja, Garuda, Tawan, and Mari, a Yukubadara, rent, Yakutenga fuel. How do they access my US dollars or foreign currency? My channels are Pikupi, and Dom Vunzo, you can buy Chiwia Governor. You can respond. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. Let me first of all respond on the question regarding fuel. We are in a multi-currency regime. There is nothing stopping a fuel dealer selling their fuel partly in ZIG and partly in, in any other currency. If the fuel dealer is not selling a fuel in ZIG, they will find themselves in a situation where they are looking for ZIG come July, June, July. Because they are also a taxpayer and they are supposed to pay 50% of their tax in ZIG. So if they are not selling their product in ZIG, where are they going to get the ZIG from? And I have to warn them that when we get to June and July, the rate for ZIG may strengthen such that they will actually be losing out. So if I were a fuel dealer today, I would start selling some of my fuel in ZIG and some of my fuel in US dollars because we are in a multi currency arrangement. All right. The C47 uh, said uh, they earn uh, their salary in ZIG. I'm not sure if it is true that C47 get 100% of their salary in ZIG. If I'm not mistaken, there's some which is paid in, uh, in US dollars. And again, we are in a multi-currency arrangement. People are making this assumption that only the zig portion of the salary must pay for rent, must buy fuel, must buy any other thing that is uh, in US dollars. What then happens to the US dollar portion of the salary? All right, I'll take uh, our program ends at 11.30. I will take uh, a few more callers. A star from good morning. Good morning. How are you, Linda? Good, thank you. You're through to the program. Go ahead. Thank you. May I speak to Dr. Terera, he can hear you loud and clear. You can go ahead. Okay, my question is for you. I don't know if I can talk to you. I don't know if I can talk to you. I don't know if I can talk to you. I don't know if I can talk to you. Uh, 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 do you know what you say? volume ye radio ye new tisans be feedback ya trukunzwa tinyan so kunzwa isha kanaka. Okay, that's what you say. I just have my touch of my grocery. They don't even accept in a trust card. No one will go to each cup till nine to get cheaper. Akuna ma ma ziga chona ma chorina. That's been a very good snorer. My touch of. 
Alright, to the Chinese contribution yenu. Uh Tasara ne about ten minutes, could you change the chipera? Zero seven seven two uh one six two six five one. Uh Starfin, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello, yes, you're through to Star FM. You can go ahead and uh, uh, share uh, your contributions with uh, Dr. Mshavan. Tino tino tenda cha hizo ni contribution yenu uh, Rigaiti mpupamka na governor Wekuti wangi vachipindura I think the question that continues to come through uh, Governor Mshayavano is uh, Whilst you've said we're in a multi-currency um, regime Where even my service stations can use my US dollars for, for, for fuel Asipane jime jiri specific Shininke jichitua dama US dollar mvunzo Urukuna mba uchuya ndewe kuti kupi. E, Ninyaya zema reti zuzu zimweni zenguwa. E, Seku wana kuta chita pama viki ne mwezi ne manguwa iliku mashure. E, reti ya US dollar kana otichini. Chiriku badaris kwa ni US dollar. Chini ngechini mtengo waka zikira dan chiriku shandisa local currency. Kunyangwe muna chizo kwanza wanga chizo no mangara. Azipa nguwa yoyo yaru kudakubatziru wa kungawe kushpatara. Where do people or where can people access my US dollar? Ndo mfunzo urukura mba uchiwuya. Uh, Governor Mshayawan. Yeah. Mintre and Dinka Papa in your heads in Dekuti, the Norambanjit Zokora Kuti, Tirimu Mauti Currency Regime. Tirimu Mauti Currency Regime, Zagadar. Van Vachanke Vachi Badara, Matex Avo, fifty fifty in US dollars and Zig Muna June, na July. Zagadar. Not as Sirakuti, Munuese, Usinga Duchida, which are paid Zira Uchida, Mazig, which are two quantities of Padra tax. That is what I am a tax shop here. My tax shop, I just to order with you. We must watch it, I don't know what does you. What are you going to supply our good tea? In the book, we take Zira to me. We supply what? I think I put a government tea. It has a funny subway. Not that much. Nyaya exchange rate ya murugu taura ya ndoe andrikuti. Ukaona wapi uwa price nema US dollar. Wapu wa imwe price nema zigi. Uno divider yema US dollar mma zigi. Uona wote exchange rate ya ichi. Kana isi na kuhiri rana. Toho sakatiri po wako. Efe ayu hiri po. Ino inda kuti ino gazri za shumusha kadaro. Takaita wongororo. Pa weekend yu ya purai. Tichitenderira ma supermarket yese tichitenderira. Tinoto mbotenga wa sunu za ajo ma supermarket. Atingo vunzi. Tinoto pinda ma supermarket totenga. Tokombe ya eh, exchange rate uti ya kamera shakadai. Tuna kutawari wa teriru kuti ma supermarket ma shinji ma uembe ataka shandira. Ataka famba, ataka, 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 ataka eh, shanyira. Vari kushandisa exchange rate chaheo chahe. Paka ambe nge paine confusion ya nga iripo. Yokuti panga paine statutory instrument. Ya ita ora iyo kutima supermarket Ano bumizwa kuisa 10% Pa msoro pe inenge iri pa inda bengret Izo zo zaka gadziriswa Ne mswe e, We Friday Paka buda statutory instrument Ichi visa 10% iyo Shirewa kut Iko zine zu kainda ku supermarket Unono ana rate ya inda beng Iyo yo Ndwe inenge iri pa pa Pasi na 10% Ndwe inenge iri pa pa Pasi na 10%
in the Jaiso. We are just uh, seven minutes before uh, the end of the program. Uh, I'll take some more callers on 0772162651. We are also streaming live on the Star FM Facebook page, and I am going through the questions that are coming through and I pose them to the governor. Star FM, good morning. Hi, Linda. Yes, you're through to the program. Go ahead. Thank you. Um Governor, the Bua Bunzam Punzo, Varkutu, the Zavachai Jamanatu Mupunzo, what you could and Okut is so so to the Kuti, myself station, Maria to no one at one amongst it. Myself station, I could charge my US dollar. What are they going to do? Nebut is so at the middle June. Right now, to know what I say, number one. Number two, eh, mama, if you look at eh, eh, the issue of Taiwan, and also Econet. Econet, you know, charge 11, uh, gig, 11 gig, right? Required 200 and some, uh, something. If you divide that man, would he, you can divide a Mario net, net, net $18, re, re, US dollars, then get 10 gig. Mario, you know, no, you put it at 23 US dollars. And uh, all this is happening. We need gas in Kutivati with the Isus. Not to do the same, I take such a battle of Matthew. You go better at all and Tinder go back every day. And you know, you want to put in Maria to Nama change man, Arco Kuba, and the Varguni Tauri about June. We need the solution starting now. Thank you. All right, uh, thank you very much. I'll take some more callers. Um, the governor is taking note 0772-162651, 0772-162651. I will be taking my last two uh, callers for today. Star Hello, Makadi. Makadi, you want to be in the middle of the so far, there are 2,205. We can calculate any 150 US, they to 150. There are three rooms. Mario, we have to go to 14.7. All right. All right. All right. It's not in the chat room. I'm from Zawenyu. Staff, hello. Hello. You're through to the program, go ahead. Yes, we can hear you, go ahead. Hello, sir. All right, we seem to have a poor connection. Star from Hello? Hello? Yes, you're through to the program, go ahead with your contribution. Right. I mean, I'm going to go to the and uh, all the government parasite out. I can go price control about those things. Because if you right now, I've been pegged at uh, but my same potatoes why dollars, US dollars. And if you divide that, rate is around 21 or 19. Because my rate are work with a mutual format. They are not the rate that they are using for prices. I think. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Guy, teacher, pa governor, mkana we put. You've heard the contributions or the questions, uh, Governor Mshavan, that have come through. Uh, Maritza, and uh, someone just sent me, uh, she bought it here, one of the big retail um, outlets, Cinema Exchange Retail, Kushanti Swanasi. Your comment to that, uh, Governor Mshavan. Okay, uh, th thank you very much for that. As I said earlier on, we do our surveys, but we don't just go there to ask. We actually go there to buy goods. And as at the last survey that we did, which was last weekend, we were seeing rates that were within range. I did mention that there was a bit of confusion in the market arising from the 10% that retailers were allowed to mark up on the exchange rate. So you find that if the interbank exchange rate is 13.5, for example, the retailers were then adding another 1.3 uh, to make it 14.5 or 14.7, which which could explain problem here. But that was corrected last Friday when 
government gazetted that going forward the 10% markup is no longer going to apply. Uh, what so, happens to those that fail to comply? As a listener has just sent, Vajir Kutoshan sa 14.5 yo 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 in a percentage ye mata ura, e kunyangwe shashu, paine, esaya kabuda mswe friday, mata nanenga chitor wai and abi, nuktiva terror wargo to mira to wona, musupa market wombea kata, cheta ora reduma zita, e asi, vargungo shandi sama 14.5 yo yo. Those that fail to comply will be penalized, as I said. Uh, first of all, we freeze their bank accounts so that they are not able to transact. And secondly, there are hefty fines that uh, FIU can levy on them. So if you can let us have the names of those uh, supermarkets, uh, service providers and so forth, we will descend on them and deal with them accordingly. As we end the show, uh, Governor Mshayavanu, uh, the authorities have said that the ZIG is here to stay and uh, we must forge ahead with the ZIG. Uh, how do we uh, continue to instill confidence in the local currency and your parting remarks to uh, the Zimbabweans who are listening? The way we are going to instill confidence in ZIG is that we are not going to be printing ZIG in excess of the reserves that we have. We did mention in the mandal policy statement that as of the date we announced the MPS, which was on the 5th of April, we had 285 million US dollars worth of reserves. On that very date, we had plus or minus 80 million US dollars worth of ZIG in circulation, which means at that date, ZIG in circulation was more than three times covered by the reserves that we are holding. In theory, what it means is that if the central bank wanted, they could buy all the ZIG that people have, all of it. But then you then have problem now when you want to buy it back to pay for taxes, to pay for all the other things that you need to pay for. So my message to Zimbabweans is that ZIG is going to be a stable currency because it is backed by reserves which are quantifiable and which are subject to audit every year. So hang on to your ZIG. Don't fall victim to unscrupulous people who want to buy your ZIG at a rate other than the interbank exchange rate. That is my message to Zimbabwe. Governor Mshayman would like to take this opportunity for coming through and uh, answering to the questions that uh, members of the public had. And we certainly hope that uh, we will have you in uh, future shows as you continue uh, to articulate issues around the local currency and the work of the central bank. But uh, thank you very much for coming through, uh, Dr. Mshayman. Uh, thank you, Linda. Thank you, viewers. And uh, let's keep the conversation going on our social media platforms, on the Star FM Facebook page, on our Twitter and uh, Instagram platforms. And uh, the governor has promised that he will uh, be coming through in a future shows to attend to some of the issues um, that uh, members of the public may have. Until next time, I am Linda Moriro. Do have a pleasant day. Thank you. Zimbabwe gold ndiyo marinyuwa nye Zimbabwe ase guru ziki baba Haa, ume marifuti, no tenge rio Ziki bomanji, raka siba kwa zinutigiwa ni gold, gorinti, plus forex ili muno Zimbabwe Oho, 